Welcome to everybody. Vote 2014 with the Pacific News Center. I'd like to thank our friends at uh, Port of Mocha for giving us a nice place to have great conversations with guys like Senator B.J. Cruz, the Vice Speaker of the 32nd Guam Legislature. Half a beach. I kind of like this kind of uh, informal attitude that we've got around here. Ask you all kinds of questions. So, are you running? Um, I th think so. Yeah. Have you gathered all the signatures and gone over the election? My staff has gotten the signatures and my treasurer has made me sign the organizational chart so I just have a few more days to to think if I'm going to do this or not. You know and and you say that with a smile on your face but I know there's a lot of truth to that. I, I think you really kind of invest yourself in the idea that you're going to commit another couple of years to public service. Yes, I, you know there's so much more that needs to be done and um, I'd like to be able to address some of it. And, but there's also a realization that I'm mortal mm -hmm. and I'm 63, though I don't want to admit it. Yeah. And I'm, uh, I'll admit it. If you hadn't, I would have admitted it for you. Yeah, I, I need to finish off my bucket list. There are things that I want, you know, places I want to go to, that I want to see, things that I want to do. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine is now traveling across the country visiting the national parks. Another one did it last summer, and I just keep thinking that would be a lot of fun. And they're sending me, you know, last year they're sending me pictures from Yosemite and other places. Well, the problem, as I see it, is that, you know, and, and you and I have been together long enough, and I've seen you whittle down things that were important to you. And, uh, and get to a point where we've got some kind of finality, we've closed an issue, but then another door opens over there and you go, well, you know, I, I better take care of that too. Um, and, uh, and a perfect example, I think, is, uh, uh, is the problem that we have at the prison. You and I are both very alarmed at some of the things that we see going on over there and the unbelievable cost of incarcerating certain prisoners. We don't seem to be getting any credit from the federal government for it. No. And especially with the large population that we have that's in there of invitees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, compact, yeah, well, I mean, they are federal government invitees. And I told them that that is their obligation, yeah. but they don't, they don't want to own up to it. But they're more than willing to send us a bill for a half million dollars for the half dozen prisoners that we have in federal prisons mm -hmm. around the country because we can't, we can't keep them here. And, um, but nobody wants to address that. And You'll appreciate the uh, direct manner I'm going to ask this next question. Are you still against the military buildup? I've never been against the military buildup. I've just been against the way that it was being proposed. And I, I've tried to get everybody to understand that, you know, typical male, you know, you guys, <laughs> you, you think that you can have two lovers, <laughs> and you've got to realize that when when I was when I was chairman of tourism, my concern was tourism, and I kept saying, you know, you 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 have a choice. My one comment that I made at one of the the hearings was, your SEIS is saying it's you know that that the China visa waiver and the Russian parole authority. Maybe, maybe jeopardized as a result of this buildup. Right. And it was very clear in there. I didn't make up the words, it was in the SEIS. And I'm telling everybody, you have a choice. Which one is it? You know? I mean, I would love, you know, a whole bunch of hunky Marines coming on. But the thing is, is that, you know, we've had this 50 year old tourism industry that has gotten us through thick and thin. Yes, we've had dips with SARS and and other kinds of things, but it has yeah, but it has taken care of us. We've got to remember, we've got to protect that relationship that we have with the tourism industry, and balance the two. You know, I mean, with the with the, well, with balance the, with is the, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's an either and or. With the, with the firing range, I mean, I was just reading a whole series of, of stories about San Clemente and and Camp Pendleton, where the Marine Corps itself closed down. Uh, private shooting ranges that shot into the into the hills near near um, Miramar and near near Pendleton because of the lead poisoning, and they even upset one of their biggest supporters, the former Marine himself, uh, the congressman from from San Diego, about it. You know, if you're going to be well, concerned the same about Marines, that, they're yeah, going to be concerned no, over there. The we assume is, they'd if, be if concerned you're, here. If you're concerned about the lead poisoning on your bases as a result of 
the firing ranges, the, the private fire, they were skeet shooters, and, and one of them was actually using biodegradable bullets. Yeah. And, and they, they closed them. I'll send you the whole series oh, of the letter, I'd, I'd the, the whole series of articles about it. And I'm like saying, and you're going to be shooting on top of the, fi the water lens, you're going to be shooting into the ocean, and your concern about your bases there in California and in Camp Lejeune about what that what all that munitions and dioxins mm. caused and the cancers that, that resulted from it, and you're not concerned about what's happening to us, I have to protect my people, I'm sorry. I understand national security, but I also have to, to say there are, there are certain limits and you have, and if you're willing to close right. private you know, shooting galleries outside of your, your bases because of the, the lead poisoning, uh, then if they were to respond to you with, uh, with the responses of Beach, we appreciate you bringing that up. And you know, we're not going to use uh, lead bullets around here. We're going to use a certain kind of bullet that is biodegradable and we can still do all the testing that we've got to do. You'll be okay with them? That'll be fine. And I don't understand why they don't do that. We, we've been talking with them about the fact that all of this lead is going to, is going to affect the soil. Those are the kinds of things that I'm interested in. As well, I mean, we could do the debate all day long. This is my buddy, BJ Cruz, who I'm going to give a, an opportunity now uh, that I haven't yet to ask you for your vote in this upcoming election, Beach. All right, thank you. And, and I want to thank Sorensen uh, Media for this opportunity. Um, I'm, I put my name back out for re-election this year, and I hope that what I've done for the people of Guam over the last 10 years has has shown my dedication and, and commitment to the people, and I'm hoping that you will give me another two years in, in this office as senator. And so I hope for your vote in the upcoming election, and give me a whole set of Democrats to vote with me too, please. <laughs> I gotta get in there. Senator Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz, thanks so much for spending some time with us. This is